the idea that there are different types of arguments for liberty. If we can just kind of sure. put it out there broadly, right. okay. you have this, um, this moral argument for liberty. Yes, liberty is inherently good. You have a utility argument for liberty. Yes. Which would be? Which would be that if you organize your society around the liberty principle, then free markets and everything that goes along with liberty will produce the best outcome for people. It'll right. produce innovation, it'll produce prosperity, it'll produce all the things that you like to see. Right. It'll reduce poverty, et cetera, et cetera. And this is one that you hear talked about often in economics terms, right? All and, the time. And, this is, you, yeah. and you did a presentation at AIER about right. this. Yeah. And, and you, um, you quoted one of the founding fathers, but you, you, you changed it slightly, right? You said, give rather... Me, give me utility or give me death. That's right. Right, this is Patrick Henry. Yes. He oh, sorry, that. sorry. It wasn't a... Okay. Right. Uh, it, it, um, you know, the, the, the actual line is, give me liberty or give me death, yes. right? It wouldn't have worked nearly as well if he'd said, give me utility or give me death. In other words, we only want liberty because it produces the best outcomes for people. Right. If you say that, then what you've said is, liberty is not the highest good, and it can be taken away if there's another way of getting to of, of welfare Yeah. for everybody. Well, but, but that's what the consensus seems to be nowadays. That's kind of where we're at. That's we the, are in this utilitarian world. So I think it's important to kind of point yeah. that out to, to say, hey, this is the, the side that's kind of winning now with their utilitarian arguments are what we see manifested in the world that we don't like. Right. And that we would be imposing the same things upon them. You know, it's like, okay, look, you want to do what you want with your body, right? So that's fine. We, you wouldn't want it to be imposed upon you if somebody came and said, hey, you're no longer allowed to ha choose your own pronoun. Right. Let's just say. Sure. Like, okay. let the individual decide, right? I mean, I might not personally agree with it, and I might think that, I might have many thoughts about it, but I, I will judge it my own way. But should that prevent that person, if, if the tables were turned, from deciding that they could ask their friends and family to call them something or somebody else the, the tables turning is a good way to measure whether or not you're making an argument that you really believe in okay right so yeah. if you if you if you if you base your argument for liberty mm -hmm. on utility or or consequence mm -hmm. then you've left yourself open to losing liberty if someone can say well there's a better consequence if we do it this way yeah Right. So if you if you adopt the China model, if if somebody can show with data that oh well, you know the China model actually produces higher aggregate welfare over this period of time than your liberty model does, mm -hmm. therefore too bad for your liberty model, your your liberty idea. Let's go with the Chinese model because that was your criteria to start with. Yes, okay? and and same same with the same with the moral thing. If you establish the criteria for for what is moral. And then it turns on you because the consensus is not what you're presuming that it is. Then you lose the battle. 